Hello and welcome to another new hotel webinar. Today's subject is strategies for effectively managing your rates and rate plans throughout the PMS. My name is Artur Carneiro and I will be with you for the next few minutes to show you how to create a rate, early bookings, rate breakdown, services breakdown, meal plan prices and prices by room type. In order to create a rate, first we need to go to Rate and then Rate again. This is where we can see, edit and create our rate. So for this example, let's create a simple rate by pressing Insert. Choose an abbreviation. I will put just example. I will copy the same abbreviation to the description. Description for invoice. This is how the rate will be shown on the invoice. I will put the same thing. Used for by default, we have both, but I have the options company and direct. This means that if I choose company, this rate will only apply to a company reservation and if I choose direct, will only apply to a direct reservation. Category, we have general, but we can choose others and we can create and I will show you in a while. Segment, we can add this rate to a segment and once I create a reservation with this rate, the segment field will automatically be filled. Then we have rate breakdown, we have default and free breakfast. I will choose default and I will speak about rate breakdown in a while. Here is the comments box. This is very useful because you can add important information regarding the rate and it's visible when you are creating a reservation or on the search rate tool. I will add a comment. On the left side, we have the option to include the tax or exclude by unchecking the box. Include the city tax. Make this as a bar price rate. We can have the option to hide the prices. You can only see the name of the rate. And once you don't need this rate, you can inactivate it. On the right side, we have a box of restrictions. First box is minimum length of stay. It means that if I put two, the reservation needs to have at least two days. Minimum lead days and maximum lead days refers to the number of days prior to the check-in in which the rate can be used in a reservation. For example, if I choose 10, 30 days this rate can only be applied if the reservation is created within the range of 10 and 13 days before the check-in the same thing with minimum sell date maximum sell date but and a specific date that we can choose and the maximum occupancy percent is we can define an occupancy percentage that if we are above, this rate will not apply. Below, we have cancellation policies, is where we can add our cancellation policies that I will speak um, on the next webinar. And not allowed meal plans. Here, we're going to choose which meal plans we don't want to be applied to this rate. For example, if I choose all-inclusive, full board, off board. It means that only room only and bed and breakfast will be accepted to make a reservation with this rate. I have now all the requirements needed to make the rate. So let's press OK. And the rate is created, as we can see here under example. 
I do not add any prices to my rate. This is done after I press OK and then go back again with Edit or simply double click on the rate. Here I have a new tab called Prices. In order to make a price for this rate, I need first to choose the room type. The meal plan, I will always start with room only, so we then calculate the meal prices. And then I press reset. This calendar will appear. And to add the price, I need to double click on the first day. I need to make the price. And I will make the price until the end of this year. Let's put December 31st. I can choose the weekdays. I want this price to be applied. I will choose all days. Room type, it's, it's this one, double. We don't have anything under rate breakdown because we are working on room only and no meal prices will apply. And now I just need to add the price for one person. Let's put, for example, 100 for two persons and for three. If I want to put a children price, I can add here and then do save. This will create the price from today until the end of year with these prices I already put there. As soon as it finishes, I press reset again and all my prices will be shown here on the calendar. If, if uh, I go to May, for example, I see the price per day. This is showing me the price for two adults. If I choose one and do reset, the prices shown are for one person. And we have prices until the last day of the year. Now imagine that I want to make specific seasons inside this rate. So what I have to do is let me go to April, for example, and let's say that from the 1st of April, I double click it until the end of May, my price is different. I choose the period above and then here I will put different prices. Let's put 145, 155, 170, for example. And the children are 60. Once I do save and press reset again, I can see that the price has changed between the period that I've chosen. On the 31st of March, we have 100. On the uh, 1st of April, I have 145. If I go to May, the same thing will happen. And now my high season. Let's make, for example, from July 1st until the end of September. And now choose another price press save press reset and my high season is created until September in October the price goes down again to a hundred Other options we can have inside here the price definition. We can choose a price by room or by packs. If I choose room, this is a price for room, this is a price for each guest. 
We have here a box that says adult exceptions. If I press on adult, I can change the price per adult in any different meal plan. For any, I could choose a different price for one, two or three. We can set the price for the extras by meal plan and by number of adults in value or in percentage. We can set the price for food. We can do we can say that by any meal plan the price is in this one for breakfast in this case, for lunch, for dinner. We can also do the same thing for adult extra and for children. And we have also the same thing, but for child exception, we can choose and set different prices for meal plans and number of guests. These are the options inside the price definition and the rate prices. Now that we know how to create a rate and put the prices in, let's explore the other options inside the price rate. We already see the prices here, but we have here services, early bookings and locks. Let's talk about services. Services is an option that allows you to insert a service on a rate that will charge the service once or throughout the duration of the reservation. Let's see how. Under Services, I click on Insert. A box will appear. Ask me for the duration which the service will be available inside the rate. Usually, is during the period of the rate. Let's put until the 31st of December, like this. Now I need to choose my service. I will choose reception department and let's choose this horse riding service. And now how this service will apply. We have two modes per reservation or per packs. Let's choose reservation. The time is when I will apply this service on the arrive or throughout the stay. And the operation is to add or daily discount. To add, this will increase my price of the service for the reservation or daily discount will decrease this price for the price of the rate. This means that if I have 100 euros per night and if I put here a price of 30 daily discount, the rate will continue with the 100, but this 30 will be posted on the service. But if I have add, the price will be 130. Once I do OK, this service is already attached on the rate. This means that once I create a reservation with this rate, this service will join the price of the rate. Next, we have early bookings. Early bookings is an option that we can create a discount for a reservation that, are, that is made early. We have two options, by days in advance or by dates in advance. So let's do days in advance. I press insert. I choose the discount type. Let's put season, uh, 15%. I can choose how I calculate from the, the service. I will just leave all services and apply to all services. 
And I say that if a reservation is created between 30 and 90 days prior to the check-in, it will apply this 15% discount. Or I can choose by date. Let's delete this one. I will say that applied the same the discount, the same amount, the calculated equal, and I say the initial creation date of the reservation. So it means that if I create a reservation between 30 of April and 31st of May, it will apply this discount. If I want to put for the check-in date, I just need to choose for all reservations that make check-in between these dates, they will receive this 15% discount. Locks. Locks mean that I can block this rate to be used on reservations on a specific period of time. So if I do insert and I put an initial date, for example, this one, it means that this rate cannot be used to create reservations between these dates. Now I'm going to talk about rate breakdown. As you remember, previously when I created my rate, my example rate, I had the option to choose from two different rate breakdowns. This is under rates, rate breakdown. And if I double click on default to edit, this allows me to choose my daily rate distribution, set prices for food and beverage, or make prices by room type prices. Let's see first daily rate distribution. This allows me to put my services for allocation, meals and others, to a specific service. For example, on my default rate breakdown, I have that my allocation for room and rentables are under reception, lodging. This is the service that I choose to make the breakdown of my dailies. And then for the meals, I chose the department restaurant and the service restaurant food and drinks. This is changeable. I can just simply put another service if I want. Below are other services and other breakdowns that I can use. This is very useful because I can take reports for services uh, and see the breakdown of my daily charges. Under food and beverage prices, I can make my prices for the meals. For example, I'm saying here on my default rate breakdown that my breakfast will cost five because I have three in food price and two in beverage price for any meal plan. I can specify per meal plan, saying for bed and breakfast, I have a price. For half board, I have these prices, full board, all inclusive. These two columns refer to adult prices. These two columns refers to children prices. 
or I can make the prices manually per room. Finally, I have room type prices. This will allow me to create my rate by choosing one room type by default and then change the price per room type using these values here. I can say that my suite is 80 euros plus than my double, my standard is 10% plus and my double deluxe is 50 euros plus. If I add a minus sign, this price between brackets means that it's 50 euros less than my double. My rate that I created by example is created with this rate breakdown. So let's see if my prices for the other room types are there. So I have here for my double, that is 130 euros per night. Let's change to the double deluxe and is 180. So this means that this rate followed the, the instructions on the rate breakdown and changed the price using the prices that I've defined on the rate breakdown. This will allow you to save time because you just need to have a room type by default, make the difference in the other room types and the, the rate is created. You just need to create the price for the default type. I'm going to show you here under the reports manager, this uh, report income by department and services. This is um, how we can see the breakdown that we've done under our rate breakdown. I have here my department. I have here this service lodging that includes the extra beds and the accommodation. And I can see the total income of this period. for direct reservations, company reservations and others, groups, individuals and so on. So the importance of having a good rate breakdown is we can then analyze all the income from services and departments. Thank you for joining us in this webinar. I wish you all the best and see you soon.